Hey YouTube, Shigun Shinobi here with an unboxing of the Pokemon Training Card Game XY Breakpoint Expansion, as well as corresponding theme decks, Wave Slasher, and Electric Eye. So uh, today I have 26 packs of Breakpoint to open. Why not a whole box? I don't know. For those of you that do want to uh, watch me open up a whole box, let me know in the comments below. Comics? Yes, this is a comic now. Comments below, uh, and I will see what I can do about buying a whole box worth of Breakpoint. It's a great set, so I definitely don't mind uh, going out of my way to, to get a whole box of this uh, to un unbox. That was a lot of boxes in one sentence. But uh, for now, let's go ahead and take a look at these packs, and then we'll take a look at the two theme decks. Alright, I've separated them into two 13-pack piles, so let's go ahead and start with the left side first, since it's the one that's right here. So, let's, uh, let's get this show on the road. Uh, cards I am hoping for, um, I'm not really sure what it is that I'm hoping for. Um, I'm hoping for some good stuff, obviously, but I don't really know what it is I'm looking for. Um, uh, I was looking forward to building Raticate Break, I have built that... Uh, it is really fun. Um, I have uh, Age of Slash built. Trevnot Breaks is something that I'm looking forward to hopefully getting in this unboxing. So right off the bat we have Shinx, Numel, Blitzel, Staryu, Electabuzz, <laughs> Cloyster, Swanna, Heatmore, a Reverse Lapras, uh, right off the bat, we're kicking it with the EXs, Mega Scizor, Scissor, Scissor, Scizor, whatever, EX. A uh, really cool card, I'm not going to be sure, I'm not, I need to just go back to bed, I think. I, I'm not sure how super competitive this deck is going to be, but it is really interesting. Iron Crusher for two metal energies, 120. You may discard a special energy attached to your opponent's act Pokemon or a stadium card in play. So it's a nice little disruptor card. Uh, for sure. So again, I'm not sure how competitive it's ever going to be, but it is certainly an interesting card nonetheless. So right off the bat, we are starting great with that Mega Scizor. Let me know in the comments. Do you say it Scissor or Scizor or or what? What? It, what? How do you say that Pokemon that we just pulled? I generally say Scizor or Scizor, Scizor, Scizor. Scizor is what I usually say. Scizor. Like, Scissor, except Scizor. Anyway, I don't know, I'm derailing this video. Spritzy, <laughs> Temple, Clefairy, Chikorita, look through the portal, Shinx, Krikatoon, oh, that, that noise, Max Elixir, a wonderful card to have. Look at the top six cards, attach a basic energy uh, to you, that you find there to one of your basic Pokemon on your bench. Wonderful, wonderful card, especially for EXs. Delinquent, another awesome supporter. Uh, you play, discard any stadium card in play, and if you do, the opponent discards three cards from his or her hand. Wonderful with things like red card and stuff. Uh, Skaroopy, reverse, and oh, nice, Age of Slash. Right after I went out and bought a bunch. <laughs> Um, I'm looking forward to trying that uh, Trevenant uh, Break Age of Slash build. Uh, hopefully we get a Trevenant Break so I can show it off properly. But Age of Slash is a powerful sword. Uh, for one double colorless energy if you have Dimension Valley in play, double the number of damage colors on each of your opponent's Pokemon. Trevenant and Trevenant Break, the Trevenant from the XY expansion, um, lets you basically damage spread. And so the point is to item lock your opponent with Trevenant, and then spread damage through Trevenant's attacks, then switch out into Age of Slash and double all the damage and knock out a bunch of stuff in one go. Um, I've seen it in action, it looks really fun, so I'm looking forward to building that one for sure. Here we got a Temple, Spritzy, Skrulp, Honage, Ducklet, Puzzle of Time, a wonderful little item card that you can play two of at once, and if you do play two, you get to search for uh, any two cards from a discard pile and put them in your hand. That is versatile as all get out. Great card. If you play one, you can look at the top three cards of your deck and put them in any order you like. Not as great as if you played two, but uh, it still is something uh, to do nonetheless. Uh, Stantler, Cricketune, Reverse Age of Slash. I did not need to buy Age of Slashes. And a Golduck. Derail, which is what I do in every single video I make. I derail. I derail a video faster than you can say Pikachu. Alright, pack number four. Honage, Ducklet, Trubbish, so sad. Shelter, 
Drowsy. <laughs> That's a fabulous Drowsy. Swana. Tierno. Re uh, old reprint um, from the original XY starter set. Uh, draw three cards. Cloyster. A reverse Misty Determination. Discard a card from your hand. If you do, look at the top eight cards of your deck and put one of them in your hand. Shuffle the other cards back in your deck. Pretty simple card. I don't see it played a whole lot, but it is pretty versatile. Pangoro is our rare. I love the artwork on this. The card itself is not that great, but I do love the artwork. And I do apologize for my voice in this video. I am uh, recovering from a cold, or coming down with a cold, or something along the lines of that. And so it keeps kind of going in and out. I do apologize for that. Not that there's a whole lot I can do about it. So not do this video, but the show must go on. Psyduck. Phantom. Uh, this is the Phantom to use in a uh, Trevenant build because it does have that Ascension attack. So if you can attack, uh, be it uh, if you go second, you can use Ascension and evolve into Trevenant right away. And thus item locking your opponent on the first turn. Uh, so that is something to look forward to as well as playing the Wally supporter card. Uh, Glamio. <laughs> Act cute. A Gibble. <laughs> Never enough. Don't I know it. Ch Chikorita. Dewblade. Durant. A really fun mill card. Bursting Balloon. A really awesome tool card. Attach it. It gets discarded at the end of your turn. But if you attach it and your opponent attacks at their turn and damages you, they take six damage counters. So really, really awesome card. Uh, did great in fl uh, Florida Regionals this past weekend. Uh, Electivire. And a uh, nice Garchomp. Um, I'm really happy to get extra Garchomps. Garchomp is a really awesome, awesome deck. Um, works great with Karina to get rare candies, bring out Garchomp as quickly as possible. Also works with Maxi's Hidden Ball Trick. Turbo Assault is great. Bite Off is great against DXs. It's just an all-around really awesome card. And I've said that in one of my previous unboxings where I pulled a Garchomp. I believe I now have two extra Garchomp. So I am on my way to building that Garchomp deck. <clears throat> we got a Goralith, Shelder, Gibble to go with that Garchomp, Phantom, Glamiel, Perugly, right back to back. Wow. Uh, Slowbro, Walk Off Homer. I like the, the baseball reference. Stantler, a reverse Psyduck, and Clefable is our rare. Ooh, Clefable. Clefairy, Clefairy. Diglet dig, diglet dig, trio, trio, trio. Anyway, again, derailing as as per normal. Shelter, a Gibble, Phantom, Glamia. I'm getting all the same commons. Honage, uh, Great Ball, Delinquent, Nuzleaf, a Reverse Frogadier, great for the Greninja decks. And a Meow Stick is our rare. Attach up to two energy cards from your hand to one of your bench Pokemon. Yippee. But Meow Stick's really cute. I like Meow Stick. So, moving along to the next pack in our unboxing adventure. We have Psyduck, Phantom, <laughs> Slowpoke. I've gotten so many Phantoms now. Slowpoke leading the marching line. That's a really slow marching line. Shinx. Spritzy. Great Ball. A Lapras. Gabite. Reverse Furfro. And Golduck is our rare once again. And that one is horribly cut. You can kind of see the uh, odd yellow along that. Not an odd yellow, but like a... An off yellow? Like a... There's too much yellow, I guess. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. I have no idea. I really need to take a drink of water after this pack. So, I say so a lot. I apologize. Froki, Clefairy, Growlithe, Drowsy, Cricketot, Arcanine, Misty's Determination, normal one this time, Splash Energy, a special water energy that gives them... Um, it, it's it's kind of like an old rescue energy. You attach it to a water, and if it gets knocked out, you can take all uh, everything like a. T mm, let me try that again. Put that Pokemon in your hand, so you have to discard everything else, but the Pokemon itself will go right back in your hand. So that is really helpful. Zebstrika, and again a Pangoro. We're getting a 
theme going on up here. Uh, if this was another guard shop, I would not mind the theme to continue. <laughs> and I forgot to get that drink of water, so. Oh well, there's always an next pack. Uh, Tim Pole, Clefairy, Chikorita, Shinx, Numel, Fighting Fairy Belt, fantastic tool for basic Pokemon, be it EXs or otherwise. Gets plus 40 HP, does 10 more damage. A nice substitute for Muscle Band uh, for basic Pokemon. Max Potion, another great item. Heal all damage from your Pokemon if you do discard all energy. But if you are using a Pokemon that only attacks with one energy, or using a Pokemon that can move energy around, that's not really a big deal now, is it? Sigilyph, a Reverse Splash Energy, and Hypno with Good Night Babies. Um, so it, both Pokemon are uh, sleep once you use this ability. Yeah, so both active Pokemon, rather. So uh, it, it's great for things like Darkrai. Darkrai Hypno is a big deck going around right now. Good night, babies. I want to play it just to be able to say that in a tournament. All right, continuing along. We have three more packs, including this one, for this side of our stack. Right, we have a Trubbish, Timple, C Dot, Shelder, Crick cr Wow, I almost said Cricketot, Chikorita, Sycamore, old reprint, Bursting Balloon, Luxio, Reverse Blitzel. Oh wow. Full art Ho -O EX. Now Ho -O EX is a card that I initially scoffed at, uh, looking at it originally. Purifying Fire, if it has a fire energy attached to it, you can heal 50 damage from it, which is all in all great. Um, but its attack is 130 damage, it does 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon, which is a pretty decent attack, but it costs grass, water, and electric uh, to, use, to use the attack. So it's... Uh, it costs a lot, and and that is really the, the the problem here. However, with cards like Max Elixir, with cards like Smeargle that can move the types of energy around, and uh, various other cards like that, Ho EX is actually a completely viable play option. And I've seen a couple different builds uh, for Ho EX that all have worked pretty well. Uh, so I will definitely give it that. I did not estimate it being a playable option, and it certainly is. So I apologize, ho -Oh. You are a pretty, pretty bird. So <laughs> next pack, we have a Skrull, Staryu, Skroopy, Petalil, Rattata, Potion, Palpitoad, Psychic's Third Eye, uh, it's just a supporter that lets you sh look in your opponent's hand and then discard as many cards as you like from your hand and draw that many cards. It it's not really all that great. Uh, Trevenot, not the one I want. I want the one from X and Y. <laughs> but uh, it is an option, I suppose, if you don't have the others. And Suicune, I love the art. Love, love, love the art. Uh, Wind Charm is like this Pokemon is your active Pokemon. Prevent all effects of your opponent's attacks except damage done to each of your Pokemon. So that's a pretty nice thing. Uh, unfortunately, Aurora Beam 110. Um, you can use Fighting Fury Belt, I guess, to make it 120. Uh, it, it's a decent card. I haven't really seen it uh, be played all that much. But it is it is decent, I suppose. Guarding abilities like that are certainly very helpful. Alright, last pack from this side of the stacks. <laughs> we got a Cricketot, Rattata, Corsola, Skrelt, Petalil, Aromatisse, Arcanine, Misty's Determination. Yes! I saw the edge, I knew it was a break coming, and I was hoping, and here it is, I get to show it off. Trevenant Break. 160 HP Psychic type Pokemon, obviously a break evolves from a Trevenant. Ideally, you want to use the Trevenant from X and Y that has the ability that shuts off items when it's the active Pokemon, and ideally it will be your active Pokemon. Silent, fi fi fill? <laughs> Silent Fear, put three damage counters on each of your opponent's Pokemon. So it's just a spread, complete spread of one, uh, 130, complete spread of 30 damage. So you do this once or twice, maybe even three times, it gets knocked out. You send up 
up that Aegis Slash, you're looking at almost a clear field of knockouts. And uh, it, it, it's really, really awesome. And it works great on its own, too. Like I said, in Florida Regionals, they played Trevenant Break with Bursting Balloons, and uh, it just worked just fine without Age of Slash. So, Trevenant Break, an overall incredibly awesome card that is sweeping the meta right now, so I'm so glad to get one. I need, I think, two more to pull off that deck. And uh, Camerupt was our rare. He's not uh, all that thrilling. So, in these, we we kind of completed everything. We got a normal EX, a Mega, a ho -Oh EX as a full art, and Trevenant Break as our break. Plus, we did get Three hollows in the form of Age Slash Suicune and Garchomp, so not that bad. Let's go ahead and move on to our second set of 13 packs. All right, here we go. And again, I do apologize for the whole voice situation. Um, I was not expecting it to be this bad when I hit the record button. And then as I kept talking, it just kind of progressively got worse. So I might call it a day after this video. <laughs> All right, so first pack of our second side. We have Psyduck, Furfro, Ducklet. Esper, <laughs> Esper, oh you, you thing, Phantom, Puzzle of Time, Aromatisse, Gyarados Spirit Link, that's our first Spirit Link we've pulled so far, a Reverse Max Potion, wow, really? Going perfectly with our Mega Scizor EX that we pulled earlier in this video, we have the normal Scizor EX, Scizor EX, whatever you want to say. Steel Wing 20 for 1 metal. During your opponent's next turn, any damage done to this Pokemon by tax is reduced by 20. So pretty pretty common there. Let me bring it in a little closer. Gale Thrust is what's interesting with 50 for 2 metal. If this Pokemon was on the bench and became your active Pokemon this turn, this attack does 60 more damage. So if you can keep switching it out, you're hitting for 110 damage. If you got a Fighting Fury Belt, you're hitting for 120. Muscle Band, you're hitting for 130. So... Pretty interesting card. It's not really getting those one-hit knockouts or anything like that, but it is a pretty interesting mechanic nonetheless. So we have started with an EX once again, so that is pretty exciting. Moving along to pack numero two. Let's keep the streak alive. We got a Slowpoke, Furfru, Seedot, Psyduck, Esper, Sycamore, All Night Party. This is another one of those stadiums that goes with that uh, that uh, Dark Rye Hypno deck. Once during uh, each player's turn, that player's active Pokemon is asleep. He or, me, he, or, well, he or she may remove that special condition and heal 30 damage from that Pokemon. So basically, you use Hypno, you put them to sleep, then you use All Night Party, you make them awake. You heal 30 damage, and then you use Dark Rise Attack, which does more damage if the uh, defending Pokemon is asleep, and you hopefully hit that one-hit knockout. So that is the point of the deck. It's a really awesome deck. Uh, just one I'm not sure that I'd be able uh, be ever able to play, given how many cards you need for it. Scizor, Spirit Link, a Reverse Skrelp, and, whoa, really? Two for two? Mega Gyarados EX. Great, great card. It's like Tony the Tiger levels of great... Um, I've seen several Mega Gyarados uh, decks so far, and they have been pretty spectacular. Blast guys are 120 damage. You may do 20 more damage for each water energy uh, attached to this Pokemon if you do discard the top two cards of your deck. So it is very self milly but it does have quite a hefty amount of hit points. Uh, plus, uh, Blast Geyser can do 120, uh, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190. 200 damage if all of these are water energies, so they are knocking out pretty much everything that's not a mega Pokemon, so really, really awesome card. We are hitting it out of the park right now. I wasn't kidding when I said let's keep the dream alive. Let's keep it nice, alive, and I realize if I talk louder, I sound a little bit less stupid, but whatever. <laughs> let's go for that. Uh, Froakie, Electabuzz, Pharaseed, Esper, just staring at us constantly, Staryu, Gyarados Spirit Link, Bursting Balloon, Frogadier, Temple. are you kidding me? Oh my god, Gyarados EX, we are 3 for 3 on EXs on this side, and I don't really want to call them sides, because they were shipped to me just sort of scattered about, and I just sort of picked them up and stacked them. So this was all my unintentional doing. 
So going right with that Mega Gyarados that we just pulled right here back to back, they're lunging at each other. So Gyarados, he acts once again shiny because shiny Gyarados is the star of this set. Stormy Seas, flip a coin until you get tails for each heads. Search your deck for a water energy card and attach it to this Pokemon. Shuffle your deck afterwards. So that is how you get Blast Geyser going as quickly as you can. Um, Trick Coin would be really helpful on this, but you want the Spirit Link in order to Mega Evolve, so yeah, whatever. Splash Burn, 130. This attack does 10 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So all in all, a great card. Obviously, you're going to want to play the Mega but uh, Gyarados on its own is pretty decent as well. Can we keep the dream alive more? Please, that would be fantastic. Um, I did not mean to do that. Not that I care, that's great. Uh, 3 for 3 EXs is fantastic. Uh, so we got a Blitzel, Panchen, Honage, Shinx, Spritzy, Potion, Lapras, Doblade, Reverse Tierno, and ooh, a Slowking. Slowking's a pretty interesting card. Water type, Hunter damage. Royal Flash, once during your turn before you attack, you may flip a coin. If heads, move an energy card from your opponent's act Pokemon to one of his or her bench Pokemon. So it's energy manipulation, basically. Psych up, 40 damage. During your next turn, Psych up, it does 40 more damage. Not that great. The ability is interesting, but Slowking is so hard to get out and not really worth it to play with Archies. Um, I'm not, well... I don't want to say not worth it to play with Archies. If you build a deck entirely based around energy manipulation on your opponent's side of the field, it could certainly be helpful to try Archies with that. So I don't want to write it off completely. We got a Numel, Electabuzz, Ferroseed, and a Blitzel there too. They decided to run off together. Go make really weird thorny zebra babies. <laughs> Ferroseed, a Blitzel, Shelter, Sigilith. Doblade, Scissor Spirit Link, Pseudo Wudo is our reverse, and Eradicate is our rare. Like I said, a really fun deck. Antibodies means you can't get poisoned. Eradicate Break brings them down to 10 HP. Area Dose from Furious Fists, I believe. Poisons both of you. You can't get poisoned. They can. They have 10 damage left. They have nothing to do but die. Kind of see where I'm getting at. Eradicate Break is pretty awesome. So here is a Cricket Top, Shelder, Drowsy, Slowpoke, Clefairy, Slowbro, Aromatisse, Tierno, Reverse Slowking. We got some Slowking action going on. And Shift Tree is our rare. Roll up, otherworldly return. Yeah. And, and such. No, don't fall, Eradicate. All right, we still have a pretty decent amount of packs to go through still. All right, we got Chikorita, Tim Pole, Spritzy, Skrelp, Hornage, Max Potion, Sigilef, Aromatis, Reverse Chikorita, Ooh, Dragalgi is our rare. Severe Poison, it is Poison with four damage counters. That is insane. Dragon Pulse, 60 damage. This card, the top card of your deck. It is what it is. I think Severe Poison with Verbank City Gym in Expanded could be pretty killer. I've never seen a deck built around it before. Um, but it is a, a thing that you could do, I guess. You would be putting 6 damage counters uh, in between turns for Poison in that regard. So that is pretty devastating, I think, but it could be too clunky. I don't know. First seed. For, for, oh, nope, nope. Froki. Corsola, you're so happy. I love Corsola. The little coral thing. Coral. Got you an iPad, coral. Dr Dr Drowsy. <laughs> Petalil. Pseudo Wudo. Potion. That's what coral needed. Palpatode. I almost said Palpatine. Oh my god, I need to go to sleep. We got a Spritzy, and Drabion is our rare Emperor Palpatine. Oh boy, it's it's one of those nights. I keep saying I need to go to bed, and it's only seven o'clock at the moment. Maybe I just need to eat dinner. I don't know. Like I said, it's one of those nights. I really need to mix up those packs because now we're kind of hitting a drought. We got Temple, Shelter, Honage, 
Numel, Esper, Progly, Pokemon Catcher, that got reprinted, I forgot about that. Psychic's Third Eye. Oh, nice, Greninja Break, another deck that I really like. I have this built online. I don't have it actually physically built, but Greninja is a really awesome break. Giant Water Shuriken. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, discard a Water Energy card from your opponent, uh, from your hand, not your opponent's hand, from your hand. And if you do, put six damage counters on your opponent's one of your opponent's Pokemon. That is awesome. You have a deck or a hand filled with Water Energy. You discard one. You hit any Pokemon you want for sixty damage. You partner this up with the XY Greninja that has normal Water Shuriken, which is the same principle for three damage counters. You're spreading nine damage counters without even attacking yet. So it's a great, great, great deck. Really fun to play, and I'm really excited that I finally pulled one of these. Hopefully, I'll be able to actually build that deck in person. And we have a uh, Ferrothorn, for Ferrothorn as well. So awesome. We are getting the great breaks. Though all the breaks in the set are uh, pretty decent in some capacity, I think. Uh, we got Slowpoke, Shinx, Spritzy, Glamio, Ducklet, <laughs> Mahile, Max Elixir. Really need a lot of those. Bayleaf, Luxio. Oh, nice. Uh, great for those water decks uh, that I was. Uh, Gyarados, Greninja. Not really so much Greninja, because Greninja only has one retreat cost. But Manaphia EX has an ability, much like the old Dark Explorers, Darkrai EX, Aqua Tube. Each of your opponent's uh, Pokemon has any water energy attached to it. It has no retreat cost. Darkrai had the same thing, except with Dark Energy. So, in water decks, or decks that play water energy... Um, all you have to do is attach a water energy that Pokemon now has free retreat. So that's really awesome. Same thing with like Fairy Garden for fairy types and stuff. Plus it's a fort. Look at how adorable he is. You just want to hug him. How, what is hugging a Manaphy like? Like, is he wet? Or, or she? Is it wet? Like, if you hugged a Manaphy, would your clothes just get soaking wet? Or is like, he kind of squishy like Jello? Is he like Flubber? These are the questions that I ask myself at night. <laughs> Petalil. <laughs> Kirkatod. I wasn't kidding about that sleep thing. Pancham. Skaroopy. Rattata. Lapras. Doughblade. Dunsparce. Reverse Aromatisse. And Zeb Strika. Oh my god, it's Zap Zone? It was like Zebra Zone in Japan or something like that. Zap Zone is the name of a laser tag place near me. <laughs> So we got um, damage from the attacks of your opponent of your electric Pokemon isn't affected by any of your opponents. Let me try that again. Damage from the attacks of your lightning Pokemon isn't affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. So it goes through pretty much anything. Uh, so you can just straight up hit, which is good. I haven't really seen it used in any decks or anything, but it, it's something I suppose. Crashing Bolt. If your opponent's uh, active Pokemon has a Fighting Resistance attack to 60 more damage, what usually has Fighting Resistance? Flying types. What are Flying types normally weak to? Lightning. You're dishing out a ton of damage to Lightning weak Pokemon, generally. I say generally. So we have two more packs to open before we take a look at the theme decks for XY Breakpoint. Um, what is Hugging Pokemon like in general? Like, some of them look furry. Like, Raticate looks furry. But, like, Pikachu, Pikachu don't look furry. So, like, is he furry? Like, I mean, he's kind of furry because Richie's Pikachu had the little thingy on his head, the little spike on his hair. So, I guess he's fluffy, even though he doesn't really look fluffy. I don't know. I want to, I mean, the Pikachu in that one, uh, the, the Super Bowl commercial, he was fluffy. So, I guess Pikachu's fluffy. I just want to hug Pokemon, apparently. Gibble. C, C dot. Chikorita. Corsola. Furfro. Delinquent. Reverse Valley. Sigilyph. Reverse Rattata. And Meowstick again. Those Meowstick cards, I kind of wish there was two variants of them in the set. Like one of the male and one the female. I think that'd be kind of neat. Random musings from Shuki. Alright, last pack. We have Numel, Kirkatot, 
Rattata, Corsola, Scrope, Gabite, another Reverse Valley, Great Ball, Luxray Break. We took a look. Is there more breaks in the set? Radicate Break. We didn't pull. But I have enough Radicate Breaks for my deck. I don't need any more. Luxray Break, Wild Fury, 130 damage. Flip a coin until you get Tails. The attack does 40 more damage uh, for each head. So that is pretty nice. I mean, you're looking at, you just need one head to knock out most EXs that have 170 HP. So that is pretty awesome. He has 170 HP himself. Uh, pretty interesting card, I think. Um, I, I like it. I haven't really seen it used a whole lot. Um, Dark Integral Gaming put up a pretty cool video about Luxray Break uh, that I did check out, and that worked out actually incredibly well. That Paralyzed Hacks was really interesting to watch. I'll hopefully put a link down in the description below for that video, if I remember, or up here in the eye, maybe. I don't know. I'll put it somewhere. But awesome. And Eradicate is our rare. So there we go. That is uh, that for this side of the box. Or not box, the stack of cards that we received. <laughs> this side gave us a full art, three EXs, and two breaks. Uh, that is pretty freaking cool. So bravo, packs. Bravo. Alright, so out of 26 packs, we didn't even open a full box of Breakpoint. We just opened up 10 packs shy of a box. We had some pretty insane luck. We got full art ho -Oh EX and full art Manaphy. EX, both great, great cards. We have Gyarados EX, Mega Gyarados EX, Scizor EX, and Mega Scizor EX. So we, we got ones that match, which was kind of crazy. No, Scizor, come back. So we, we have matching EXs. Uh, so we have four total EXs, uh, six total, including the full arts. Three breaks, three different breaks, mind you. We did get that Trevenant that I was aiming for, as well as a Greninja. That um, I certainly do not scoff at either. As well as five hollows. Five hollows. That are all pretty cool. So we have five hollows. That's uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen out of those 26 packs. Or, I mean, some could have been buddied up between breaks and hollows. I don't really remember. Contained. Rare cards. So that is pretty awesome. Uh, so we, we definitely did a great, great job. So these get sleeved right away. I will go do that momentarily. And let's take a look at those theme decks. Alright, so here are two theme decks. Electric Eye and Wave Slasher featuring Luxray and Greninja respectively. Really awesome, especially this Greninja. Uh, Luxray is not too shabby as well. But this Greninja is actually great for that Greninja break deck. And I will get into why momentarily. Here's a quick look at the contents of the Grand Ninja deck. Of course, we will open it and take a look at everything. As always, the theme decks contain 60 Pokemon cards, one deck list, one metallic coin, two player playmat and rule sheet, one code card to play the deck online, a deck box, and damage counters. And here is a look at the contents of the Luxray deck. And you will find all the same stuff in here. So let's go ahead and get these open and take a look. Alright, so both theme decks are going to come with this little What's New in the Pokemon XY Breakpoint Expansion. Break Evolution, that's not new at all. Uh, so both of these aren't really new, it's just showing off new stuff, I guess. But on this side, you have a full checklist of all of the cards that are available in the XY Breakpoint Expansion. So there is that in case you need a nice portable checklist you have damage counters in case you don't have any damage counter die from the elite trainer box or anything like a dice die whatever as well as poison and burn markers i do urge you to get an elite trainer box because they come with better quality stuff but hey this is a theme deck what are you going to do as well as a full play mat um, for two players and then on the inside you have a full rule book or it's more like a rule sheet a uh, rule poster uh, so to speak for new players of the game so the Greninja deck comes with this really awesome red Gyarados coin. While the Luxray deck comes with a silver Gyarados coin. There we go, there he is. There's Gyarados. So two versions of the same coin. 
And of course, you're going to get the hollow foil variant of each of these cards. It is the sort of stained glass hollow foil that a lot of variants are done in. Of both Greninja and Luxray. As well as the online code cards to play these uh, theme decks online in the theme deck mode. As well as give you access for deck building with the uh, cards that are available in these theme decks. So put that aside. Real quick, I want to take a look at the Greninja. Shadow stitching for 40 until the end of your opponent's next turn. Each Pokemon that you have, or mm, each Pokemon your opponent has in play in his or her hand and his or her discard pile has no abilities. So that's pretty versatile. It's like a Haxamaniac attack. So that is pretty handy in general. Moonlight Slash for 60. You may return a water energy from this Pokemon to your hand. If you do, this attack does 20 more damage. So you can do 80 damage, put that water energy back in your hand. And if this guy is Break Evolved, then you can go ahead and use Giant Water Shuriken to dish out 60 more on your next turn. So, it is a great card. Most of these Greninja Break decks are running two of the XY and two of this one, because this is such a good attack, as well as the fact that it's got Free Retreat. So you don't really need that Mana Feet EX in the deck space. Luxray, uh, not, nothing too too crazy here. Snarl, 100 during your opponent's next turn. Any damage is done by attacks from the Pokemon is reduced by 20. Luxray is, Luxray is nothing to write home about. As cool of a Pokemon as he is. So real quick, we're just going to take a look at the uh, Greninja deck. Here's a little deck box that you can store cards in. Store a deck in if you so like. Got some water energies, lots of water energies. Cricketoon, Great Ball, Froakie, Potion, water energies. Lilligant, I don't think we ever pulled a Lilligant, so that's new to us. Bayleaf, same thing, I don't think we pulled a Bayleaf. Grass Energy, Psyduck, another Max Elixir, great trainers. Professor's Letter, uh, from the old XY expansion, great, great card. Slowpoke, Froakie, Fighting Fury Belt, these decks come with Max Elixir, which is a great card. Fighting Fury Belt, which is a great card. So these Steam Decks actually do come with some pretty decent trainers. Slowking here is a variant card. He's normally a hollow, as you could have seen when we pulled him from our packs. But he is a non-hollow, 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 non-hollow card uh, in the Theme Deck. So that is another variant card that we can uh, set aside right there. Shauna, Frogadier, great to have. Uh, Corsola. One thing about the Frogadier, I never really pointed out. Water Duplicate, search your deck for up to three Frogadier, put them onto your bench. Shelf your deck afterwards. Great, great card. If you can Froakie and Wally into Frogadier, and then if you go second, use Water Duplicates, you're looking at four Frogadiers in play on turn two. So it's a great, uh, great, great card. Uh, so whereas you would normally want to like rare candy or something through that, the Frogadier method works pretty well. There is the normal version of that Greninja. So you get two in this deck, so you pick up the deck and you're pretty much good to go with that Greninja Break deck. Wally, there's that support I was talking about, lets you search for the evolution. Bayleaf, Professor's Letter, Cricutot, Froakie, Petalil. Misty's Determination's in here, Tierno, Golduck, Potion. Nothing else too crazy after that. So it does come with the two variant cards, the Hollow Greninja and the non-Hollow Slowking. Luxray, unfortunately, only has the Luxray as its variant card. There are no other variant cards in the Luxray deck, so that is a little bit of a bummer. Uh, as, a, as I'm not really a full variant collector, but um, for, for those that are, it's a little bit of a bummer. Blitzel, there's Electivire, Misty's Determination, Esper, Honage, Fighting Fury Belt, again. Both decks have one. Wally, Potion, Glamiao, Drowsy, Shinx, Honage, Hypno. Here's a nice place to get Hypnos. Good night, babies. Max Elixir, like I was saying earlier. Electabuzz, Electivire, Professor's Letter, Drowsy. The trainer layouts in both these decks are pretty similar. There is Zeb Stryka, Electabuzz, Professor's Letter, Potion, Great Ball, Shinx, etc. So it would have been really cool to have a non hollow Aegislash in here, since it is running Doblade and Honage. But alas. It is not. But there is a look at our theme decks. So, if you want to get a hold of your own theme decks, you're in luck, because I am doing a giveaway of not only one set of Greninja and Luxray theme decks, I am giving away two sets of the Greninja and Luxray theme decks. Alright, so two lucky winners in the comments below will receive 
the Greninja and Luxray decks as a set, completely free. Shipping is on me, as always, because it's, it's a giveaway. That would be really stupid if it wasn't, and you'd chastise me, and I would fully chastise myself. But I digress. All you have to do to be entered in the giveaway is leave a comment below, and of course, to leave a comment below, I'm going to propose a question. Which of these two Pokemon do you like better? Do you like Greninja better, or do you like Luxray better? A secondary question... What is your favorite card that I pulled from this video? Be it an EX, a break, whatever. Whatever card I pulled. It could be a trainer card for all I care. What is your favorite card that I pulled in this unboxing video? And then you will be entered to win. I will draw two names a week from now. So whatever that ends up being, I'll put the date right here down at the bottom. On what date this actually does formally close. But all you have to do is enter down in the comments below and I will let you know via YouTube uh, response or, or a message or something. YouTube's finicky sometimes. But good luck to all of those that enter and enjoy. Alright, so this was a pretty great video. Not only are these theme decks okay, they give you some, some decent trainer cards and... Greninja is really good, so there is definitely that. The packs that we opened were fantastic. We got some full arts, we got EXs, we got breaks, we got hollows, we got the whole thing, and having only opened 26 packs, I feel incredibly fortunate at what we ended up pulling. Great pulls, and as always, huge thanks to the Pokemon Company International for this video and for this giveaway. So again, all you need to do to enter to win these theme deck sets Enter down below, let me know whether you like Greninja or Luxray better, and let me know what your favorite card that we pulled in this video is. So good luck to all of those that enter, and as always, thanks for watching. So that about does it for this unboxing. If you like it, go ahead and blast that like button, comment below, and subscribe for more. So as always, thanks for watching, take care, and have a great one. Bye.